Hello viewers! Welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be playing Kaiserreich Legacy of the Valkyrie. Now with this series I'm going to try something new. I'm going to make an unedited or minimally edited let's play where I play a country within this mod and uh, within Darkest Tower or Hearts of Iron game. Now the country that I will play is La Plata because a majority of you have voted for it um, in my little poll that I made on the channel. What's the point of the series? Well, as I said, to try something new and this will be like a mini tutorial of sorts where I explain the thought process, what I do, why I do this, which could be pretty useful to newer people. Also, why South America? Well, I've never really properly played of them, as them rather, so I suppose why not. <coughs> so, a little TLDR here, there was a Great Depression here, and a South American War broke out, we fought <coughs> Bolivia and Brazil, Bolivia invaded Paraguay, well, Brazil invaded Uruguay to get to us, we repelled Bolivia, then Brazil, and then a federation of Argentina, Paraguay, and Uruguay formed called La Plata, and we're going to have to deal with the South American syndicalists. I'm going to change the settings here so that will I see takeover will be off, and I'll probably keep full tech team takeover, I mean, why not? So, without wasting any more time, let's jump straight into the video. And there we go, we have loaded in. Okay, now you see, even by the borders, I'm um, Argentina plus Uruguay. So, to start things off, you see that I have a country that's blue, which is epic. And first thing I'm going to tackle shall be the ministers. I'm going to, of course, look at the Ornaments Minister first. I'm not a fan of him, so I'm going to choose him. Or rather change him to a guy that build, that gives industry. Remember that decreases industry production time. Because that's very useful. <coughs> you need more of that there industry. Now, in Kaiser, right, this Minister of Security is okay. This Chief of Staff could hypothetically be good, but... I'm going to go for one with manpower growth because Kaiserreich doesn't have a mobilization system and the manpower grows naturally. So, thanks to my changes, my manpower growth has increased slightly. Not significantly, but hey, it's something. Now, this guy with the guns and bottle doctrine, I'll keep because he decreases supply consumption. You can see we also have political sliders here. Now, the main sliders that I'll focus on here shall be Hawk Lobby. The more I go towards this slider, the quicker I produce things, the faster my descent decreases when I put consumer goods on it, and the faster my manpower grows. So, I'm going to choose this right off the bat. Okay, technology. What do I have here? Oh, well, I have the American Doctrine, so it's not that bad. Now, in some mods, you can pull a little bit of a sneaky here and disband or rather abandon this doctrine which just kind of destroys your descent and organization so I'm going to do just that I'm going to research this doctrine because it's quite important to do so you have to be up to date with your doctrines as well since they give quite a bit of you know advantage over your enemy and the next Technology will be in an industrial one. This for plus 10% IC production bonus. And I think I'll also go after this one. It's a 1935 tech, so our time is perfect to research it. Plus just that 2% IC production is beautiful. And the final one they'll go for will be 1936 infantry. Because it's always nice to have up-to-date infantry, plus the year is ripe for it. Okay. So, 
we have an army, which is nice, and a quite a significant majority, well, not a significant majority, but 25% of them are garrisoned, which I want to change, because, well, garrison divisions are cheap and not really expensive to maintain, I want to upgrade them into infantry, so that I can use them. Oh, we have the Falkland Islands, amazing. Well, actually, maybe I'll keep a garrison division there, because it is a province with this little sign here showing that it's a coastal province which means that the enemy can launch naval invasions here and, la and land successfully so I'm just going to you know leave it here so they will guard this coast so alright I say that we are done organizing the country now with the economical stuff I'm, I'm really not sure how Argentina works here because I've never really played them or should I say La Plata So I'm just gonna build industry in the interior of the country and some infrastructure here in the east. Why? Well I'm building it in the center because I can sort of defend it from a surprise attack if any country invades me and I'm building it in the well I'm gonna build it in the south because um, well first of all it's pretty far away from Chile and the uh, I'll guard this coast so no enemy can be able to reach these three provinces that I'm done protecting them anyway, so I guess we can begin. I'm going to. Okay, wait a second. I'm going to make the speed very fast. Guys, are right, legacy of the Valkyrie. <laughs> what the hell am I talking about? Valkyrie. It's developed by these people. And there are also past developers here. So you can read on your own accord if you want to. And there's also a special thanks to multiple people here, as you can see. They also help in developing the mod. On the shoulders of giants, indeed. I'm okay, so we are constructing some industry. Why? Well, it's always good to strengthen your own country. And I'm really not sure how the events are going to go for South America, so... I'm just playing it kind of safe. Speaking of playing it kind of safe, I think that I should also produce. Well, oh wait, the Virien, the Virenato Manifesto. Consider the writer Leopold Lujones has launched today his new book, Manifesto por un nuevo Virenato. So that's a little bit of broken Spanish for you. Interprets the recent formation of the Union of La Plata as the fulfillment of Argentina's destiny of spreading shining light of Platinian civilization to the other people of South America. The first step of this mission was the re-establishing of the old Viceroyalty of Rio de la Plata under Buenos Aires' leadership. However, maybe our neighbors will soon feel threatened as we attempt to expand our influence. So. I guess these are the countries I'll potentially go to war with. Good to know. Our relationship has decreased significantly because of that, and it's quite possible that they might join against us, so I'll have to board up every gap in my border with them eventually. Now, uh, speaking of boarding gaps up, I'm going to wait for... Oh, I'll say it worked. Epic. I'm going to wait for 1936 infantry to be produced... Well, well, yeah, researched, first of all, before I start making any units. Plus, by the time it's researched, I could probably have removed this descent that I have here. I'm in no real rush to change the garrison divisions into infantry divisions here. But if they ch change faster, that would be nice. And ah, 
seen in the Socialist Republic of Persia as declared war upon regular Persia. I'm quite curious to see who's gonna win this, though it's extremely, extremely rare for the North to win this. And Afghanistan has declared war upon Delhi. Which at minimum is a mistake, because Delhi is significantly stronger and usually beats Afghanistan up. Uh, and the Socialist Republic of Persia, as you can see here, industry-wise is at a disadvantage against regular Persia. So while we are waiting for the descent to decrease, you can look around and see that the United States of America... Oh, the other safe. <laughs> a bit laggy. It's quite comparable to Germany, industry-wise. Well, at least base industry wise like monday which is buenos aires Ugh. well that was expected that did kind of murder my industry and give me quite a bit of descent so i'm going to put all consumer goods on or rather all industry on consumer goods just to decrease that descent it's quite important because uh, descent lowers your industry your Troops' combat ability gives you a bigger chance of Parsons rising up in provinces. We just don't need that now, do we? So, and it also overloads my transport capacity if there's a bigger chance of revolts happening. Which I do want to avoid and don't want to experience. Alright, our first technology is probably going to be research soon, that's improved construction engineering, so that's very, very nice, I'd love to see that. So usually choose a tech team that specializes most within a certain field, like I chose YPEF because they specialize in um, industrial engineering and management and they have the best skill level for this. And CB Langma has declared war upon Mongolia. That's nice. Usually they lose because they get sandwiched between Mongolia and Tibet, but it's a one you want here. However, I'm still rooting for Mr. Sternberg over here. Oh, well, my timer now is up. I'm going to let YPF research a technology. There we go. With construction engineering. And I'm going to save. So if you have any questions or criticism write it in the comments i'll hopefully improve upon that and answer questions that you have because this is also a tutorial series of sorts for darkest hour so hope everyone enjoyed the video see you in the next one